Because if I had to describe my disability, usually I'd be like cerebral palsy, blah, blah, blah. But you really broke it down to the nature. For me, I have to think about how I physically move my arm and hand. That's taking a lot of concentration. If I lift my foot, if I type, do I got to hold down the shift button? Do I need to do that? And when you did your analogy of building a house, that's what it's like to live with a uh, limitation because things that other people get to naturally take for granted is a task that takes cognition and compute time and memory. So now, this is where the good thing of synergy between accessibility, it's just great for everybody. Right. It might not be their disability they're challenged with, but I'm not a photo editing expert, I'm not this. But when you democratize all those little kind of specific nuances for everybody, it makes a very dynamic and fluid of high level way of thinking to get us above the little things as humans that holds us from behind. So AI really gives us the ability to really rise above the tasks and get across the goal, the objective, and the mission, which is really try to make our lives better in so many ways where we spend our life experiencing these things and not focusing on how to make these things happen.